So you want to trade on Solana's blockchain. You want to use the Phantom Wad or maybe MetaMask because it also supports the Solana blockchain. It's absolute meme mania in crypto. And that's the main reason that many crypto traders are flocking to the Solana blockchain. I'm Vosker on the Vosco on YouTube channel. I make videos every day. I'm always trying to learn more and earn more uh, with cryptocurrency. Today I'm going to walk you through using Phantom as well as Solana. Uh, we're going to look at Pump Fund. We're going to look at Radium, which is one of the leading decentralized exchanges on uh, Solana. We're going to make decentralized trades and we're going to add some liquidity. And I'm just going to share with you all the knowledge I've gained over the last basically 10 years in cryptocurrency. Speaking of learning more to earn more, if you're looking for another way to deploy your capital, check out Revolution Mining. They're sponsored with the Vosquin YouTube channel, and basically you buy a miner with them, and they run it, and you earn passive income. Link out below. Phantom's the big wallet on the Solana chain. They have that first mover advantage, and it's honestly been an absolutely great wallet experience. Much better and more enjoyable than MetaMask ever was. As a quick disclaimer, always remember to do your research, double check things, ask in a Discord server, post on Voscoin Talk or forum, reach out to a friend who maybe knows more or whatever, because if you get caught up in the wrong exchange, you could lose everything. For example, I've been rugged. Trade Ogre has stolen from me. Uh, they've stolen nearly $5,000 of Casper cryptocurrency from me, and uh, they've locked my account because I spoke out against them. Uh, so please understand that crypto very much still is the wild wild west as you venture into the deep end Tradeogre.com are scammers, but let's get back on track though So I go to phantom linked out below download it, right? I'm on opera right now. Uh, it's chromium based So I can just open up the chrome web store here and click add to chrome I'm gonna add this extension and while this downloads, let me explain what's going on, right? So you can use Google Chrome use phantom on it it also supports firefox edge uh, and other browsers right brave and any other browser that's chromium based and if you don't know it's probably chromium based it's also on ios and android their mobile app is great i use opera sometimes because it has a free built-in vpn uh, oftentimes I'm using Google Chrome, Brave, and I'm thinking about switching back to Safari or something because uh, at least when I'm on my Mac here because the, the Chrome is just absolutely obliterating the RAM on my computer. And finally, it's been added. So from here we can say I already have a wallet or create a new wallet. You can import a wallet with your seed phrase, right? If you already have that, sure, yes, of course. But let's create a new wallet. Punch in a password and then it'll give you a recovery phrase here. So here's my test wallet recovery phrase, right? Uh, you're all done, that's it. You obviously better save your phrase because that's how you get back into your wallet uh, to import it on another computer or another browser or on your phone or, or literally anywhere. If you lose access to that device, right? Plus that secret phrase, it's game over. Okay, so now we've got the wallet. But where do we go from here, right? So I could go into buy, I could buy Solana. Let's say I wanna buy $100 of Solana. I can use a credit card and debit card from right within the wallet uh, in order to facilitate this buy. There's also these other providers. You can always go to a centralized exchange or bridge funds to get coins in here. To install MetaMask is the exact same process as I just showed you with the Phantom Wallet. So I'm not going to repeat that because I don't want to make this video too long and too boring. I'm going to assume that you downloaded MetaMask and set it up, right? I'm showing you everything from the browser. It's really the same process from your phone, just on your phone. From here, we click on Snaps. I don't have any Snaps loaded on this. Discover Snaps, right? And that takes you to their Snap page. And this is the specific Solana snap from this page you simply click add to metamask there's some terms you're gonna have to agree to them if you want it you click click connect right manage solana accounts click confirm install the solana wallet and then we continue to soulflare.com slash metamask from here we click get started right and, and why would you use metamask instead of using phantom personally i would just use phantom at this point 
Uh, but if you really want to stay in one wallet, MetaMask and their Snap integration with Soulflare can keep you in one wallet. Soulflare is very important if you want to use MetaMask with Solana because it's your dedicated portal, right? So now let's say I bought some coins on a centralized exchange or I'm loading from another wallet or, or whatever, right? You didn't just use the credit card option in uh, the application there. I'm gonna go over here to my Phantom wallet. I'm gonna click on Solana. I'm gonna click on send. I'm going to paste my Solana address that I just copied here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and send 0.1 Sol over there. Network fees are really low. What's great about Solana is it's consistently fast and cheap. The downside is it, the chain stops sometimes and it's a very centralized chain. But the people have voted and they show that they don't care about that. They don't care about the fundamental aspect of all of those things. And, I don't, and, and Ethereum failed us doing all kinds of bullshit instead of just trying to make a chain that was cheap and fast. I, I, I'll stop. I, I don't even wanna talk about that nonsense today. But basically, instantaneously, I've got these coins right here. Solana is the second biggest chain, second only to Ethereum. And while some of the metrics, it pales in comparison, where it actually surprisingly blows Ethereum out of the water and every other chain is volume, consistently outperforming Ethereum and the other chains just by straight usage. Solana has had a huge comeback, absolutely in the dumps over the last couple of years with the FTX fallout and everything. Many people counted it out. I'm shocked to not only see it come back, but come back in such a big wave. It is approaching essentially all time high TVL, which is absolutely wild given the things that have happened in the past with this. And even just comparing it to the current state of the market. A lot of people are interested in getting into Solana lately because of things like Pump Fun. Pump Fun is wild. It makes it so easy to instantaneously launch a meme coin. It is just, it throws these coins right into your face. And let's say we sort them by currently live. And it's just, it, it, it's crazy. It's ridiculous in here, right? You got this stress guy, which is a play on the chill guy uh, that took off, right? We got Kira the cat, then, and I just sorted it by live streaming, right? So like, let's say I wanted to get exposure into this. I could take 0.1 soul. I could place a trade. It'll pull a phantom wallet. And wow. just like that, I, I, I grab 0.1 soul. So, so understand what these, right? Most meme coins, you'll get rugged, you'll lose all your money, whatever, but that's how quick and easy it is uh, to participate, right, with uh, these coins. I clicked this one because he was live streaming. It's new, right, and uh, he also is an anonymous. He's got his face attached to it. Uh, so if you're trying to get into this stuff and your trades aren't going through, uh, then I'm going to call them degenerates. <laughs> I don't know if that went through or whatever. But anyway, the point is if you're trying to get into these and it's getting crazy and uh, your trade's not going through, you can up your slippage, right? This means that you may not get as many coins as you necessarily think you will, right? You can up your priority fee to trust, basically try to buy your way to the front of the transaction queue. But yeah, the bottom line is that's what it's like to participate on Pump Fund is just a quick crash course example. Uh, when I was setting this video up a little earlier, I saw this pop up on the front page and I was like, let me put throw 0.1 soul at this. Uh, and let me show you what an, an example of statistically is likely to happen to you in the meme game, right? I threw 0.1 soul at it. Uh, well, I could trade that out for 0.02 soul right now. Yeah, it's not looking too good. The leading and favorite decentralized exchange on Solana is going to be Radium. Uh, it's very easy to participate, right? You just you go to Radium, which I'll link out down below. Uh, you end up on this page. You put in whatever coins you want. So, for example, a coin that we've talked about and supported the channel before is Rabbit, Rich Rabbit. Uh, if I wanted to buy into some Rich Rabbit, I've already got some Solana in my account. Uh, so I would just go ahead and uh, load that token. Uh, the easiest way to load that token 
um, is to double check it on things like Coin Market Cap and Coin Gecko uh, to get that contract address. We've also posted it before. Uh, the absolute number one imperative thing with contract addresses uh, is to make sure you've got the right one so you end up on the, the right coin. See, I posted a bullish other thing when I was, <laughs> I was prepping this stuff for fun. Uh, so I put the coin in here. I can add it, right? So I'll go ahead and trade one soul into this, which I'm estimated to receive over 11,000 rabbit tokens. Uh, very quick, very easy. I also have some of this, so I just threw some... Uh, funds into the liquidity pool, right? So you, you click on liquidity, then you can search pools. Normally everything's trading out of standard. I mean, look at the fees. Uh, people, like if you were providing all this liquidity, right, you would be, have earned over $700,000 in, in fees, like in earnings over the last day, right? So that's, that's wild. Again, imagine if this was your liquidity, you would have added like 50% to your holdings just by providing the liquidity pool. So clicking on my portfolio, coming down here to standard, you can see my position here. Uh, I can easily add to that position. I search rabbit on here and I'll show you that, like what it looks like to pull this up. And you can, again, do this with any coin you want. All right, so this is where you'd be. I can go ahead and click deposit. Uh, and then from here, let's just say I wanna add uh, max coins uh, to this. Uh, then I would add liquidity. And then I would go ahead and click confirm on that. Sometimes there's programs to stake liquidity and earn additional farming rewards. You would click on stake liquidity and stake your tokens to farm that if that's what you wanted to do. Uh, but we can see here, based on the trading fees in the last 24 hours, it would estimate that I would get a 16% return on my position here over the next year. I don't really care about long-term views with stuff like this necessarily. One thought is basically, if you have this stuff, provide liquidity and you'll earn with it instead of just holding it and letting it sit in your wallet. But uh, you need to research in permanent loss because you may end up with mainly only one side of these tokens and actually lose on the upside. That's the short of it. The best thing you can do in the token game is to grab contract addresses like we already talked about, pull them up on SoulScan, pull them up on Deck Screener or whatever other tool, right? Uh, so for example, here's Deck Screener, here's that same rabbit token we're just using for the examples, right? I'm not. This isn't financial advice. You do whatever you want to do with all this stuff. We can see information. We can zoom out and get more information, right? Big pump over the last week, but historically down. Uh, so 63,000 in volume, buy 33, sell 29, 15 buyers, 16 sellers, 530 buys, 562 sells. We get a we get a pulse on this, uh, the market of this coin for what it's worth. Mark cap 20 million, FDV 20 million, liquidity. Uh, $400,000, none of it locked. All important information, and from a tool like Deck Screener, uh, you can just go ahead and buy if you'd like to do so, right? So 10% is really high slippage, uh, not normally recommended. Uh, but let's say I just wanted to buy 0.1 sol of this. I put that in there. I log into Phantom. I'll be able to trade in for that many coins. Just click confirm. Uh, and then that trade will be completed here. You'll see me pop up on the chart. Well, as you can see, many times transactions don't go through. Uh, Solana is very much congested these days. Uh, so try it again, same exact thing, confirmed. Uh, you can see my buy right there. And you can actually see my address right there when I add liquidity to this. And so that type is an add, right? We have buy, sells, and you can add and remove liquidity. Uh, and all of this stuff is tracked here and it can really help you make better decisions based on the data. A lot of times you'll end up on Jupiter, which is more like a decentralized exchange aggregator, right? It'll look at different markets, right? And try to route you the best deal because this coin in particular really only has one good liquidity pool for it on Radium. It's not the best example. So let's say like I want to trade into USDC, right? Uh, so I can trade into USDC. I'll just do 0.1 SOL here. Um, and it's going through different markets like Meteora and Radium. Uh, and so I'll just go ahead and complete that trade. Uh, we can see that we are going through 0.1 Sol Bonk on Meteora into USDC on Bonk Swap. And then I basically received 24 bucks or USDC. Some people are bullish on Jupiter, but I really dislike that they don't have their own liquidity pools and they've never trended being towards a, like a full decentralized exchange. Uh, some of the leading liquidity pools, right? Orkia, Radium, 
Kamino, what is the Jupe token used for, right? Uh, utility with Launchpad, Governance, that, that's kind of it. If you're familiar with ENS, right, Ethereum name service, there's also SNS.ID. Uh, you can basically get a dot .sol, a Solana name on the Solana blockchain. I'm not Bosscoin dot .sol. Someone else bought that and uh, I'd, I'd like to have it or buy it back, uh, but I'm not going to pay much for something like this personally. So I picked up Boss.sol a while ago. Let's just say, let's just say your name is Derek, right? And you want to get Derek.sol. 20 soul for that. If you want to be Derek Bosk, you could search that. That one's probably available and it's pretty long. So this is available. You can grab that for 20 USDC. You can grab it, register your name, and then you know be off to the races with it. Uh, my buddy today sent me this Riz coin, uh, said that the DGENs were pumping it. And when he sent it, I didn't think it was a good time, but I was just like, okay, I'll humor you, right? I, I threw 0.1 soul at this. I was right around here. Uh, so I have effectively turn my 0.1 soul into 0.67. I just bring this up because a lot of people will hype up uh, meme coins and trading and stuff like that. And of course, there's a huge upside. Of course, there are crypto millionaires made with this stuff. Uh, but if you want the real deal, no BS. If you want to see my wins and my losses and just everything in between, please subscribe to the Boss Coin YouTube channel. Uh, I think that's what really makes Foscoin stand out against a lot of other, uh, I consider myself to be a content creator and I think a lot of other people are truly influencers. They're just here to influence you. They want to trade against you. They want to sell their souls and make a bunch of money. I'm here to have fun, make the best content I can uh, and make money along the way, right? Being transparent, showing you what I'm doing, my moves, right? Of course we have sponsors and things like that. And we have the Foscoin mining farm that supports Foscoin, which is absolutely incredible and just integral. Uh, to our success. So, hey, 10 seconds of tails. We run it on every video. Hope you like the content. Uh, and uh, let's uh, let's give, do a little cheer for Doge. Doge is looking good these days, and so is Tails, because she's Doge. I'll see you later.